Major bridge collapse in Baltimore, in Maryland. They're about five hours or so behind us. Happened at about 1.30 this morning. Their time at Sabah, we're told, potentially up to 20 people are in the water thought that some of them could be workers. It, it would appear that work was being done on the bridge at the time, the container ship that we can see there. Apparently, its hull has been breached. It's listing uh, dangerously to one side of a strong smell of diesel fuel. And if you then think that the workers are in the water in those circumstances, no wonder it's been described as a mass casualty incident. Yes, that's right. A, a mass casualty uh, event and a dire emergency are the words being used by officials in Baltimore, in Maryland. What we know so far is that a large cargo ship crashed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge, known locally as uh, the Key Bridge in Baltimore, causing it to collapse. We've all seen those striking pictures. The boat hit the bridge, it caught on fire, and it sank into the Patapsco River, causing several people uh, and multiple cars to fall into the water below. So far, some reports are saying uh, seven, others up to 20 people in the water so far. Exact figures to be uh, confirmed by officials. This is a developing story. I'm sure we will have more soon in terms of uh, the numbers of people in the water. In terms of the cars as well, we're being told uh, that one car was the size uh, of a tractor that is currently in the water. Now, US authorities have conducted a rescue and recovery operation that is currently underway. And uh, the Baltimore's county executive, a man called Jolly uh, Olszewski Jr. on X, is asking for the public to please pray for those impacted. There are serious concerns that this uh, large vessel that crashed into uh, the steel bridge uh, may have caused uh, sig significantly high numbers of uh, injuries. Now, a bit about the boat. We know that it's called the Dali. It's over a mile long. Registered in Singapore? Yes, and it, it left Baltimore about 1 a.m. this morning and it was on its way to Colombo in Sri Lanka. So it was only on the water for about half an hour or so before emergency services received uh, those 911 panicked calls uh, of reports that uh, a boat had crashed into the steel bridge. The boat, the bridge, apologies, itself opened in 1977. It's named after a man called Francis Scott. He uh, happened to write the, the American national anthem. Now, uh, as you mentioned earlier, we are being told there are reports that workers are potentially in the water that they See, there that's were a, that's a concern isn't it i mean the fact that we're looking at these images and it is a news story but if one thinks about potentially up to 20 people going about their business on this bridge and then from nowhere in the dark falling hundreds of feet on that structure that they were trying to repair into the water surrounded by diesel fuel. One can only start to imagine what must be happening right there as we speak. Absolutely terrifying ordeal. Officials are saying that they are working as hard as they can on with their rescue and recovery uh, operation. And right now they're stressing it's too early to know exactly how many people have been affected, but they are calling this a mass casualty event. And, uh, authorities are saying that some cargo or retainers can be seen hanging from the bridge and currently it's causing unsafe and unstable conditions uh, and that emergency responders are operating uh, cautiously as a result. Now, this is just to recap an incident that took place at 1.30 in the morning local time in Baltimore. Uh, and this happened... Uh, early hours, a cargo ship crashed into a bridge called the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Now, uh, we are seeing the volunteer firefighters, this is on X, uh, are assisting uh, teams with the collapse. So uh, not just official authorities, but people, voluntary teams uh, coming uh, to the aid. So it seems to be all hands on deck uh, as uh, this uh, 
mass casualty uh, event is being looked at by by the authorities as they desperately try uh, to rescue those in the water. Yeah, that coming from the Dropper Magnolia Volunteer Fire Company in Harford County. At uh, Harford County, forgive me, in Maryland, they are saying they are at the scene. They've posted several pictures on their Twitter feed um, saying they have been called to help the emergency services. Up to 20 people are thought to be in the water. About a dozen construction vehicles on the bridge when it collapsed about an hour and a half or so ago. Uh, now, the Dali, which is a, a Singaporean registered uh, container ship, was leaving the port, had only been sailing for around about half an hour uh, when it hit the main structure, one of the two main structures of this bridge. It collapsed like a pack of cards. Uh, uh, everyone that was on that bridge is now in the water and the emergency services are describing it as a mass casualty incident, our thoughts very much, with those not only trying to carry out this rescue but also those that have fallen into the water. We'll get more information and as soon as we do, we'll update you, of course, here on Sky News.